Number 11. The batteries of a submerged non-nuclear submarine supply 1,000 amps at full speed ahead. How long does it take to move Avogadro's number? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of electrons um, at this rate. So remember, anytime you know the number of electrons, you can always find the amount of charge that is associated with that number of electrons. Why? Well, because we know that every single electron has a charge value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. I know it's negative, but we're just really concerned about the magnitude here. So you can really leave out that negative sign. So if I know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd electrons, right, number of electrons that are flowing, and I know that each single electron has a charge value of 1.6, the magnitude that is, times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, I can just do a multiplication to find the number of coulombs, right? So we get 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, multiply them by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, and we get a value of about here, 9. Point, I guess 63 times 10 to the 3 fourth, right? Times 10 to the fourth coulombs. All right, so now if I know the total amount of charge, and I have to then find the time. Uh, how long does it take? I know the charge value, meaning I know Q. They also told me the current, I. It's 1,000 amps. Remember, amp is just a term for number of coulombs per second. So if you know the number of coulombs and you know the rate of that coulomb per second, I think you can kind of see how to calculate then the number of seconds. If that intuition is a little shaky, just remember the formula that the current is equal to the change in the charge divided by the change in time. Okay, and all we now need to do is just solve this bad boy for time. A little cross multiplication. Whoop! And there it is. And here we go. Coulomb on the top, so 9.63 times 10 to the minus, oh, excuse me, times 10 to the positive 4, then divided by I, which is 1,000 and the time then is, let's see. So let's take that value, divide it by then 1,000. And what do we now get? So we get a value of then 9, uh, 96, sorry, 96.3. And that will be in terms of seconds. And that's it. Okay. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Hit that like button and tell your classmates. We appreciate it. Take care.